animal groups. Animals can be vertebrates if they have a backbone, like the bear, the elephant, the frog, or the rabbit. Or they can be invertebrates if they do not have a backbone, like the caterpillar, the butterfly, the bee, or the spider. Animals can be carnivores if they eat other animals, herbivores if they eat plants, and omnivores if they eat animals and plants. There are five groups of animals, mammals, reptiles, birds, fish, and amphibians. First, we are going to talk about mammals. They are viviparous, so they are born from a mummy. They breathe with lungs and they have fur or hair. Some examples of mammals are the elephant, the lion, the goat, the bear, and the dog. Reptiles. Reptiles are oviparous. They are born from an egg. They breathe with lungs and they have scales or a cell. Some examples of reptiles are the crocodile, the tortoise and the snake. Birds are oviparous, they are born from an egg and they breathe with lungs. They have wings, tail, a beak and feathers. Some examples of birds are the sparrow, the penguin, the eagle and the parrot. Fish. Fish are oviparous, they are born from an egg and they breathe with gills. They have scales, tail and fins. Some examples of fish are the shark, the tuna, the angelfish and the clownfish. And finally amphibians. They are oviparous, they are born from an egg, they breathe with gills when they are babies and with lungs when they are adults and they do metamorphosis. The tadpoles become a frog when they are adults. Some examples of amphibians are the salamander and the frog. Bye bye!